Hi. Now, most people have heard of Prophet Moses, who is considered to be one of the most important prophets and the author of the Torah, which are the first five books of the Old Testament. Furthermore, God commanded Prophet Moses to deliver or release the Israelite nation from Egyptian bondage to the Promised Land. So God told Moses to guide his fellow Israelites through the wilderness, across the Red Sea and into the desert of Paran on the border of Canaan. Now, if you go to the book of Exodus, chapter 3, 14, it says, And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And on the next verse we can read, Tell the Israelites that I, the Lord, the God of their ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, have sent you to them. This is my name forever. This is what all future generations are to call me. Now, Muslims claim that the Holy Heavenly Father, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is Allah, who suddenly claims to be not Father to mankind anymore. But for a very, very strange reason, this so-called Islamic Allah acts like a human being all of a sudden and changes his mind and without any explanation changes his name from Jehovah whose name is above all names to Allah. Now if you go to Quran chapter 5 ayah 18 we can read and both the Jews and the Christians say we are the children of Allah and his loved ones say why then does he, i.e. Allah, punishes you for your sins? No, you are but human beings. So suddenly, this so-called Allah changes his mind like a kid, like a human being, and claims to be father to no man. Now, can this Allah claim to be God, but change his mind? over and over in the Quran like a human being? Clearly, the Quran must be written by a man, a self-proclaimed prophet. Hmm, Muslims, you really, really, really need to think about this serious disaster. I'll let you decide, Muslims, and to our beloved brothers and sisters in Christ who are watching, you also can be judge of that. Now furthermore, to show you the ignorance of this self-proclaimed fake prophet of Islam, Muhammad, let me continue with the story of Moses. So God commanded Moses and his brother Aaron to go tell the Egyptian Pharaoh that God demands to release the Israelites from their bondage. But Pharaoh refused. And of course, the story continues with the well-known plagues that were brought upon Egypt because of their pride, resistance and arrogance. To be clear to you, in this very video, we are not going to further explain the detailed story of Moses and the Israelites, deliverance from slavery in Egypt through the hand of God, but rather to show you one of the biggest contradictions of the fake prophet of Islam. So fasten your seat belts and take notes. The evidence will automatically be the final nail on the coven of the fake prophet of Islam. As we know, in Hebrew, prophet Moses is called Moshe and in Arabic, his name is Musa. Now Moses had a brother, his name was Aaron, which in Quran is called Harun. Aaron in Islam is also a prophet of Allah, like his brother Moses. For the people who know our style of polemics, we always keep the best. 
for last. The final disaster, the contradiction that I'm about to show you is so damaging for Muhammad and his followers. It is so huge that there is no way out or escape from it. So if you are a sincere Muslim who cares about his salvation, who cares about the truth, you really should consider denouncing Muhammad as a fake prophet and switching your religion from Islam to Christianity. Now, watch. Now, if we go to Sahih Muslim to read about the wisdom of Muhammad, we can read from Sahih Muslim, Hadith number 2365a, Abu Huraira reported Allah's Messenger as saying, I am most akin to the Son of Mary among the whole of mankind, and the prophets are of different mothers, but of one religion. Wait, Muhammad, wait. According to the Quran, Moses and Aaron are both prophets and they are brothers from the same mother. But here Muhammad in a authentic hadith in Sahih Muslim as you see on the screen, he says all the prophets are of different mothers. So here Muhammad completely contradicted himself. Now are you a prophet of God if you contradict yourself and your Allah? like this if we go to sahih al-bukhari we can read in hadith number 34 43 again sahih al-bukhari a very very authentic hadith narrated abu huraira allah's messenger said both in this world and in the hereafter I am the nearest of all the people to Jesus, the son of Mary. The prophets, now watch, the prophets are paternal brothers. Their mothers are different, but their religion is one. What did Muhammad say again? Their mothers are different. But wait, both Moses and Aaron are brothers from the same mother. So here Muhammad completely in Sahih al-Bukhari hadith contradicts himself all over again. Are you a true prophet when you contradict yourself? Hmm, I'll let you be the judge of that. To the Christians who have been watching and enjoying this spanking video, I really want to ask you to download this video, share it all over social media to save these poor victims of this man-made cult called Islam. Help me to help you spread our videos around especially this very very important video to help muslims out of this cult thank you for watching jesus is lord and muhammad is a fake prophet god bless